All right. So I got another good question today from Jose Lenny Solidum. Appreciate you, man. Frequent uh, viewer here on the channel. I think basically every single day, but this is a great question that's worth talking about. Do you see Cardano as a trillion market cap coin by the bull cycle of 2037? And simply put, yes, I do. I want to tell you guys why this is. In fact, I think it may happen sooner. Now, as always, this is not financial advice. I want to bring you guys into the scope of my mind. All right. We, it's a little crazy up there sometimes. But right now, when we look at the crypto market, there's only been one coin that has broken a trillion dollar market cap, and that's Bitcoin, right? The only one that broke it in the heights of the last bull market cycle. I think Ethereum was over uh, 500K or, right, or 500K, $500 billion market cap. Uh, that was the next closest one. So, we're still in the early days of crypto. It may not seem like it. Obviously, BTC has been around for 15 years now, long time. And there still is very little worldwide adoption. Okay, we're only at about 5% of the world that's currently in crypto at this time, which means there is a lot of capital. There's a lot of use case and utility. And there's a lot of big, big money that has not flowed into the crypto marketplace yet. What that means is explosive market caps throughout the space. And remember, obviously, naturally, adoption is going to come towards, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum and Bitcoin Cash, all those ones that are, are you know, kind of the, the non-securities, right? Thank you, SEC. <laughs> but what they're also going to flow into is these big blue chip coins that are leading the way, the ones that are at the top of the marketplace, but also the ones that are facilitating that future use case that is coming. That's where Cardano, you know, comes into comes into focus. You know, I've talked about my projections for this market cycle that actually echoes what a lot of other people believe, and that's that eight to fifteen dollar per ADA in this market cycle. Okay. Now, what you need to realize is right now the ADA market cap sits at what $10, 10 billion dollars, oh, about eleven billion dollars. We'll use ten just to make it nice and easy. At the last high. The heights of the last market cycle, ADA was almost a uh, $110 billion market cap. We'll call it $100 billion market cap. That was at $3 a coin. If we hit $15 a coin, we're a $500 billion market cap. Okay. That's halfway to a trillion dollars. That means that ADA would just have to only get to $30 per ADA, which might sound crazy. You know, some people are probably like, oh my gosh, you don't know what you're talking about. You're nuts. Yeah, you know, the people that that were also calling for $20,000 Bitcoin at $100, were, they were also called nuts, okay? You got to think more long-term. Now, I'm not saying it's going to hit 30 bucks this market cycle. I'm not even saying it's going to hit it next one. And maybe it's the following one. But people don't understand how much capital is, in fact, going to flow into crypto. You know, right now, we sit at this, what, $1.2 trillion market cap, in the overall entire crypto market. Okay. You guys know what the projections are by 2030. We're talking a hundred trillion dollars in market cap in crypto, which is an absolutely insane number. It's bigger than a lot of markets out there, but that's how innovative blockchain technology with crypto is. And guess what? The people with the big money are realizing that they're realizing that it's a good store of value. They're realizing that there's additional utility there that wasn't necessarily thought of before and not even just in crypto, right? NFTs, things like that. It's there. It's evolving. The crypto space is evolving before our eyes, obviously, because we're in it right now. We have a little bit of recency bias. We have a little bit of the blinders on, but you have to essentially zoom out and look at it from an outward lens to see how things are in fact changing. That's why I think, you know, when we look at a lot of these top coins, I think there's going to be multiple coins that are over a trillion dollars in market cap. ADA is just one of the few. Okay. And as we move down the line, you know, 10, 15, 20 years, the opportunities in crypto, especially for coins to continue to breach that 1 trillion uh, threshold is going to continue to, to expand and extrapolate. You're going to see many coins, I believe above there as well. So that's kind of my take a little bit, maybe more long winded than you guys hoped, or I really wanted to get into, but I do believe ADA is going to become a trillion dollar market cap. Okay. I wholeheartedly believe this. The, what they're doing is just too good. It's, it's too big 
for it to not get to that point is I think the best way to describe it. So like I said, as always, this is not financial advice. Don't take this as a buy signal. You guys can obviously do what you want. Know that a lot of these price movements that are going to happen in the crypto market, they happen over time. This isn't overnight movements or anything like that. A lot of these coins are so big now, it, it takes multiple market cycles to move the needle that much further. Rainbow regression curve, the laws of diminishing returns, these all play a factor once you get to these, these price points. So I appreciate you guys as always. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Appreciate you again, uh, Jose, for the, uh, for the question. But hope you guys have a great one, and I hope to catch you in the next video. Thank you.